I'm always looking for something to make my life a little bit easier when it comes to photography. And there's a lot of apps that I've played around with and majority of them aren't that great, but there are a handful that I really do like. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what those are and just kind of a heads up, some of these are paid apps, but the only reason that I'm including them is because I think that they are worth the price. Also, I'm an iPhone user, so all these apps are available on iPhone. I can't necessarily say if they're gonna be available on Android, but what are you doing using an Android in 2024, you know? I'm just kidding. This first app has been incredibly helpful for planning my photo shoots, and honestly, it is probably some of the best money I've spent. It's like 99 cent on the App Store, and it's an app called Helios. And basically all you do is you go inside and you type in your location or the location of your photo shoot and then select whatever date you want it to be. So you can go like years in the future if you need to. And then it's gonna spit out what the sunrise is. So the morning blue hour and golden hour and then the evening golden hour and blue hour. And it's just crazy. Like it'll tell you all those times and that makes it really helpful for you to be able to communicate to the client when is gonna be the best time to do a photo shoot. The next app takes things a little bit further than Helios because it shows you like where the moon and the sun's gonna be located. And that's an app called Photopill. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit pricey. You don't necessarily have to have it. It includes all the things that Helios included, like the golden hour, blue hour. And they also have this like virtual, like you can pull up your phone and it will actually show you where the sun's gonna be at based off of where you're currently standing. It's pretty crazy. We just recently took a trip to Wyoming and I was able to figure out where the sun was gonna be located based off of the times that I was gonna be out there to take the photos and that was super helpful for that. So if you're someone that does landscapes or wildlife photography, this app is super helpful for those things. Google Maps is the next app that I use, especially when you're going to a place that you've never been to before. It's really helpful for you to be able to go in and scope out the location, figure out places to park, what the traffic's like, how long it takes to commute from one place to the next. Like Google Maps is it's crazy, like especially the satellite view. You can go in there and see all the different things that are around your location and basically be there without having to actually be there. If you're looking for ways to expand your creativity or open up your mind to new things, Unscripted is a really good app for portrait photographers. They have like poses and prompts and all these other different things included in the app. And some of it is limited in the free version. You could definitely pay for it if you want. I did for a little while because in the beginning days, like it was really helpful for me to communicate with clients and kind of figure out how to pose people properly. But eventually I kind of grew out of the app and it wasn't really something that I needed anymore. So it's not something that you have to have, but it was really helpful in the beginning. Another great way to draw inspiration and get creative ideas is to use something like Pinterest. And you can create like a vision board and basically piece together what you want your photography style to be in one spot. Pinterest was just a really easy way for me to get new ideas and then go out into the real world and recreate those different shots. One app that I use probably every single day for all of my photo and video projects is Notion. And it's free, it does everything that I need it to, it's very organized and it, it helps me be my most productive self. It helps me track my goals and things like that. And these are things that are a little bit outside of photography, but honestly, it's like a place that, it's like basically a personal journal and it helps me manage all of my projects and it doesn't require me to walk around with a physical notebook all the time. It just allows me to be able to capture all my ideas and everything, photo, video, that I need to handle all in one spot. Again, this video is not sponsored. No one's paying me to say this, but Notion has been critical for my success as a photographer and as well as just managing tasks and getting things done. I'm sure there's many other apps out there that are really good. If you know of some that are good, drop them down in the comments so I can check them out and test them out myself. I'm not saying that you have to go out and spend a whole bunch of money, and I'm not saying that these apps are going to guarantee that you're gonna be a better photographer, but I will say that they are tools that can really help you if you use them in the right way. Now these tools will help you, but they won't get you clients. So if you wanna learn how to do that, check out this video next, and I'll see you in the next one.